Well, I should just start over again. Go back to the naturalistic image. Boop. Boop. All right, here we go. People at Electronic Arts Cinemix thought I should uh, talk into a camera, say a couple of things about my work, and show uh, some environments I work in. So this is the environment I work mostly in. Here is the image processor. The image processor is an analog computer, an analog video synthesizer. And by turning dials on it and uh, sliding sliders up and down and rerouting cables, I can make it do a large variety of video activities. And here's the tape recorder, which this tape is being made. And uh, this is the microphone cable and piles of tape. In a cold uh, winter in Chicago, out the winter, out the window there. Back around. Now, the simplest way to uh, to show what the image processor does is to simply do some simple or primitive processing steps that it can do. For, for instance, the comparator, which is this unit here. I'm now running a signal from the camera input into the comparator and then into this output module. And if I switch to the process signal, you see something like a codolith turned all black and white, except that I can very easily adjust the gray level at which that transition is made. Now, that's one primitive processing step. Another primitive processing step is the uh, function generator, which I will transfer to now. And with that, you see I can adjust uh, the continuous transfer gray levels. There's the white area, middle gray area, and black area and produce effects that are like solarization but somewhat more complicated. Another processing step that I can use is the differentiator, which is this module over here, which just extracts edge information. For instance, the white hand, which is a different color than the background, appear at the, or is different value than the background, appear at the same value because all non-changing, all constant values have been thrown out and I'll look at edges. Another one is the a value scrambler, which is this module here. I'm patching in here and out here, and I'll turn to that process. What that does is divide the value region up into uh, eight separate value regions, and I have independent control out of each one of those value regions. So I'm going down now and adjusting them from white to black or playing with them from white to black. Uh, this module, like other modules, uh, the knobs also can be done by control voltage, which allows for a more complex interaction. 